announced Edgar Allan Poe's birthday. Now, once again, fans from around the world have circled the date for the site here in Baltimore to see if the Poe toaster will, in fact, show. Now, he's been a no-show for the last two years. And ABC2 News, Sheree Johnson's live outside the grave marker with the very latest. And Sheree, you talked about imposters about an hour ago. How do they know who's authentic and who's a fake? Well, you know what? We are going to answer that question in just a few minutes. We actually have the curator, Jeff Jerome, joining us live here. But you know what? For the third straight year, the Poe Toaster was a no-show. We are actually inside the gravesite here, right at his grave there. And as you can see some of the picture, he usually shows up here between midnight and 5.30 a.m., but not today. You know, the Poe Toaster had paid a visit every year in honor of the writer's birthday, which is today. And he usually leaves roses and a bottle of cognac. Now, some fans, they gather, they line up here to honor Poe's birthday and find out if the toaster will appear. And right now, we have Jeff Jerome, he's the curator, joining me live here and you know we had three imposters that uh, showed up overnight here that you were telling me about earlier right. and um, our anchor Charlie he wanted to know how do you know who's an imposter and who's the the real toaster well you have to remember we've been doing this uh, watch for a number of years we recognize the guy we know what he basically looks like and these three guys didn't resemble <laughs> the original toaster the least bit you know, we appreciate their gesture, but I think we can safely say that it's over with. Um, uh, three years in a row, a no-show, it's kind of obvious that uh, he's not coming back. And where do we go from here? Is Was this the last vigil, or what, what, what happens now? Well, so insofar as we are concerned, we will not be spending the night again. If people want to stand outside the gates, that's their right to do so. But we will still continue to celebrate uh, Poe's birthday. Tonight, for example, right here at the Poe grave at 8 o'clock, we will be gathering here to celebrate his life. We have living history presentations, poetry, excerpts from his story. So we will continue to celebrate Poe uh, publicly. And I know some people will be disappointed. I was talking to some of the folks as they were lined up outside the gates here, and they were like, oh, you know, it's a tradition that's been going on for decades. And so it's, you know, hard to think that uh, you guys won't be spending the night out here anymore. Uh, well, that, uh, that's life. Life, <laughs> life goes on, and uh, I will look forward to catching up on my sleep. Uh, but, but seriously, uh, we had a woman from Russia here this morning. People from California, wow. Chicago flew in. Wow. And they were disappointed also, but we all realize that these traditions sometimes come to an end, and, and we don't know why. And we just have to look back and say, it was uh, uh, 1949, there was a lot of great years where, where this person celebrated Poe's life in this uh, very touching and theatrical manner. Thank you so much, Jeff Jerome, for being out here with us this Thank morning you. and talking to us a little bit. So there you have it. After decades, a, a tradition is uh, coming to an end. So a no-show three straight years in a row for the Poe Toaster. Reporting live here in West Baltimore, Sheree Johnson, ABC2 News. Well,